special thanks to Reddit user Dear Frosting for granting me permission to use their story. And as always, my dear listeners, do enjoy. My first memory of these things in the dark was from 10 years ago, when I was just a 7 year old girl. As is the norm, I was told that there are no monsters under my bed. I was told to look the other way. This is exactly what they want. Casual parental neglect. These things feed off of it. I remember hugging my teddy bear to sleep seeing these things from the corner of my eye. I quickly hide my face in my pillow, trying desperately to blind my vision. These things that I had been seeing prey on everyone. No one can escape from them. They feed on your innocence, on your memories. That is exactly why you will have no recollection of them the next morning you wake up. They are shapeless forms of bile and disgust. They look like a wet rag left to dry in the wind. Changing their form ever so slightly in seconds, a black dark goo covering their supposed bodies. My seven-year-old mind couldn't perceive their true intentions. All I could feel was terror. They creep up to you, leaving behind no trace of the goo that covers their body. They latch onto your mind, violating your consciousness and engulf you into a sea of darkness. The first time I encountered this thing in the dark, I remember suddenly waking up to a cold room, devoid of any lights with wetness all around me. Thinking that I'd wet my bed, I quickly wanted to get rid of the deed. That is when I realized I was not in my room. This was a forest. A forest with no sound, no light, and devoid of any distinct shape. I wanted to scream, but there was no sound. And as quickly as all this had happened, I was back in my room. It felt like waking up from a dream, but everything was normal. I remembered... nothing. I dutifully went back to sleep and woke up rather refreshed the other day. All of this was 10 years ago. Today I found the true cause as to why we lose our childhood memories. All of us. These beings, things belonging to the darkness, came into your life early. They latch onto your favorite objects, like my teddy, and then prey on your memories. You can see them in broad daylight. No matter your age, you can sense them. Once they latch onto you, they don't leave. Do you remember the last time a pile of clothes felt as if it looked like a person? It was them. They do exist. When you see a dark shadow towering upon your stuff while passing your room, it's them trying to find the next object to latch onto. Did you forget what you were doing when you walked into a room? Maybe you didn't see it. But their lingering presence is stark. They just took your memory. That is their way of toying with you. They huddle in the corner of your room, a dark shadow behind your closet, haunting you forever. You might be wondering about how I got my childhood memories back. Let me tell you, it was by accident. It wasn't meant to be. And now I'm being hunted. Not like it was all these years. I'm specifically being targeted. And I wanted to spread this information I have before it's too late for me. It started on a camping trip. Forests had always allured me. I was an adventurous girl since childhood. Today on my 18th birthday, I went to a campground near my hometown, famous for its dense forest. 
They had installed a new zip line across the two acres of low flat land that provided a view of a nearby lake. I felt adrenaline build up to extremes before the instructor hooked my harness to the cable cord. He gave me a little push and off I went. That is when the calamity struck. The cord split and I went flying into the trees. It was nearly a six story fall. I wasn't meant to survive. It is said that life flashes in front of you when you are about to drown. I guess something similar happened to me. I could see these monsters scurrying out of my eyes. I thought they were my tears but they were too black. They were rotten. A dark shade of miasma just floating in the air beside me, smiling from corner to corner, smiling on my helplessness, on my imminent death. And that is when I remembered. I experienced my childhood before my eyes, all of those happy memories. My heart leapt into my throat, I was overwhelmed with happiness. I thought, this is it. Funny how a seven second fall feels like an eternity. Between seeing the monsters and the memories, I couldn't feel the pain. Somehow, I survived and the next thing I know is that I'm in a hospital, with tubes down every part of my body, suspended in a mixed reality of the darkness and this world. I fade in and out of consciousness with the beeping sound of the machines keeping me up. There I see it. The crawling shapeless miasma, creeping up to my hospital bed. I shake and convulse at its sight. My parents are crying their hearts out just a few meters beside me, and seeing me shake they call the nurse. She just injects a sedative and I can feel the doom as the medication takes effect. I am helpless. Different dark goos come together to form one towering shapeless entity. The thing in the dark. It tries to go inside my limp body. I am crying now. I don't want to forget my childhood. Not again. I want to remember every bit of it. My first tooth fairy visit. My mom proud of my birthday card. My bestest dad ever cup. I don't feel so good. I glance over to my parents again, and my vision gives up. I am in the world of the dark. I am completely out of the hospital tubes that shackled me. I am ready to fight, but all I can see is a vast expanse of shapeless contortions looking in my direction as if a piece of meat was thrown at hungry dogs. I realize my futile attempt and my flight mode takes over my foolish fight instinct. I see that it's the same forest from 10 years ago. I run. I run as fast as I can, trying desperately to avoid the things. I've realized that they steal your ability to see, even if they are far away from you. They affect you. They affect your mind and your senses. I hope the gloom that surrounds me hides me from everything, from everyone, even from me. How do you have hope when there is nothing left but darkness? Foliage crumbles beneath my shaking feet. Shadows play their dirty games. There are no sounds here, but something is giving me away. It's my heart treacherous as ever, hammering in my chest. They can hear it. I feel them sensing me. I feel so naked, so obvious, attracting them to me like a moth to the flame. I feel their advances, my courage breaking with every heartbeat. Fear prevails over my consciousness and I lose my vision. They must have caught on. They are close, so close. My heart clenches in fear, I can't see them. 
Why can I see them? Why can I see anything? I can sense them inching their way closer and closer. Will I survive? 